Hey guys, welcome back, Morris here. Today we have Phoenix Point and I want to talk about multi-class um, Soldier Heavy or Heavy Soldier. That doesn't matter, doesn't change the thing. But uh, let's look, and this is a deep dive, huge series for all the multi-classes and after that you don't need anything else, you will know everything. So, um, let's take and uh, I, I'm building it from zero. Uh, you see I have all the soldier points and I can give you right away some clue. There are two main builds for heavy and, and soldier. So let's take a look at first build. It is um, when you are aiming, let's take this as a model. Let's let's deep, deep inside the abilities and see how they work together. So what we have, one of the key things uh, for from heavy we have rage burst totally kills the enemy and uh, must have at least one of your soldiers in the team when you're fighting skill right right so once we established let's let's start with this basics um, it uses uh, three three points with, with heavy which means whenever you target something you expect the thing to die whenever you expect the thing to die is going kind of well together with inspire so you will get more um, willpower back for will points for all your teammates and also in the same time rapid clearance kind of makes sense because if you expect thing to die you can get free two action points back so far so good uh, another thing whenever you use rage burst you will empty all your magazine it would be nice ready for action so you can reload with any cost uh, then if you are looking at rally the troops the problem with this ability problem is uh, it uses two action points so you use a you lose action points and few willpower points to give those action points to other of the team so that is a real support role because assault in general is I consider it as a support role and heavy is a killer that's that's a main guy so this is a good combination but in this build you will not spend your action points because you are the killer and others need to support you not other way around so we will leave it out and boom blast we also leave out because either you pick up a um, projectile uh, weapon or you take explosives and demolish uh, weapons of course it also works together with your mount gun that would be quite steep cost for 20 points to give only this this one thing but let's take a look maybe if there's spare points we can use uh, looking further if you are thinking about F war cry it also will be something I will leave out for the current just for this current build why because it requires you to be in tentile radius with enemy. When you build your rage burst um, soldier, you will not be engaging and running in guns blazing. Basically, you will be most likely stationary somewhere close to entry of the combat zone, uh, the, the zone's entrance, and from there you can rage burst in the distance. Basically, everything, everyone. So you don't need to run in. You don't spend so much points running, so you will be far away, so enemies will not come close, so there's no... It's complicated logic, and of course, in situations it can be useful. And the same goes for Return Fire. We, you know, it was nerfed in the update, so this is... I, I will just leave it out. But this, this build, when you are not building a grenade launcher, um, and then boom blast build this is where you could take return fire right and of course of course of course it is like unwritten rule when you have um assault you take dash why because dash is that's why I, this this assault is a support role dash is free of using action points but instead willpower points to get you in the position you want and positioning is quite important for absolutely everyone 
if your grenade launcher is somewhere where there's roof ahead of you, you can't shoot. If your heavy can't see target or is, I don't know, too far or something, you can shoot. Sniper, if there's no line of sight and there are more than two, three, four walls, <laughs> you need to position melee build, especially posi um, positioning is uh, key. So this dash is act actually why I think there will be not a single build combining with assault that is not good because it gives, gives you this uh, dashing ability and rapid clearance of course also if you can kill enemies those two will be absolutely crazy addition to what we have so this is absolutely core because you dash you find your position you you see the enemies or you line up shots that's another thing you can do then you fully unload rage burst before uh, enabling rapid clearance rapid clearance gives you back action points then you have inspire you inspire other your people around and you get willpower back then you reload back your gun without any action points. that basically gives you the clue what this is about but let's take a little bit deeper dive right uh, another th another thing what we already seen um, noticed we have also uh, this this rocket launcher right it can benefit from Boom Blast. It is kind of costly, I would say, because you need to enable it for every round you want to use it. It costs five willpower points. And when you enable it, uh, you can see the range is increased by 50%, that's a lot. But, and also it will give you the, the option to shoot your mount weapon without any action points. It costs one action point to use it, mounted guns. Well, explosive missile launcher uh, but once you enable boom blast it reduces by one and when you reduce one by one you get the idea yes it costs nothing uh, so that's another bonus you can have of course all the other abilities is and let's <laughs> of course we will go okay before we go further um, dash for dash you need four action points for rapid clearance you need five for rage burst you need five so and that's totally normal to use all three abilities in one run which means you need at least 14 action points not two action points willpower points that is absolutely you will be used everyone and of course you can take four more and then you can use two dashes or whatever but you would i would expect you to think kill things and get some willpower back and of course every next uh, turn you will have less willpower so you need to be aware of that what is uh, also interesting let's take a look at our other build this is uh this build is what's the difference is let's let's build up our heavy uh, which is not projectile shooting but which is um grenadier right so in this case scenario we are equipping and giving him sorry that goes away there's no need for grenade oh, i so hate this drag and drop thing absolutely ridiculous anyways we have a boom blast you can't use Rage Burst Sinner, they, they don't work together, this requires projectile shooting. But you will still expect things to kill, dash will be still your thing. Um, Inspire also can go together, there's no way you will use Return Fire, because you can't return fire with Grenade Launcher. And uh, ready for action, I would definitely avoid as well. Why? Because in best case scenario, you will have... For, uh, if you can use in four turn, turns, one after another, Boom Blast, which is quite rare, I would, be, I, I would say. Only after four rounds, shooting two projectiles every round. Okay, you can shoot more than three. What I'm trying to say is there will be a rare case, not rare, but once your grenade launcher um, is, is empty out of ammo and you need to reload, you will be already quite far in the combat. Most of the um, 
uh, threat will be dealt with and there's no problem to cost this one action point and, and reload your uh, Goliath. I would say there will be more likely a round where you shoot one projectile, um, one grenade, and you need to move one, 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 uh, this action point will be used there, and you're out of willpower, so there's no dash. Which means you run one of those action points, and then there's one action point left, and that you use for a loading or something. Me, person, personally, I haven't found difficult, because you can't empty all the magazine, you get the idea. So, ready for action is something you can save if you play, I'll play it and see that you actually know you're bombarding everything like crazy, then of course take it. Free reload is also good. But I would say that's a maximum. I don't know how crazy that combat should be uh, if you need to, I don't know, reload twice in one combat. It means you shoot 30. 24 grenades that's that's in a lot but anyways and the rally troops the same idea you will not support others or others will support you uh, war uh, war cry um, okay for war cry I will show you something cool and awesome you need you can take there's a huge possibilities with these builds not only two of these but I will say there is a case where Warcry actually can be super good. Uh, so far we have totally ignored all the unique abilities and we will com uh, continue doing that. Uh, normally you would take a look and you see your strongman, obviously you will stick with heavy, that's close combat, also great and red, absolutely great, but we will ignore them because they are addition bonus for this build, we talk about heavy assault. What I will mention here is possibility for heavy to go melee, which is I'm not a fan of it, but I will just give you an idea and I will explain why I don't like it. So there's a brawler and brawler is something that changes mechanics quite a bit. How to better explain it. Once you have rapid clearance, for this one will be better. Once you have rapid clearance, let's say, you use three points, action points, with, with shooting the, the scepter or whatever gun you want, and um, you get some uh, action points back, right? But you can use only one rage burst in one turn, which makes sense that after after a while, in, in the one um, turn, you will need an, to switch another weapon, and I will give you some ideas what what we are talking about here. Um, so you can shoot your rage burst to use up your hell gun, reload it, but you just, you want there's some less less threatening targets. You want to go some other way. So what I'm suggesting is yes, you see it right. Yes, it is not proficient. Yes, you're kind of right because we will not pick this up just for sake of the argument what you can do is take a brawler and that is what game does not tell you once you pick a brawler that says only increase melee damage bash, bash and melee attacks you see it automatically gives you a melee weapon proficiency and that, not only that let's just rewind a little bit what we just have we have an option to use assault default weapon. The, here can also be shotgun, of course. But let's let's take a best assault rifle. We have damage and and uh, piercing, and then we have melee weapon. And let's take a scenario, best case scenario for assault rifle when enemy has 20 armor. So all the 20 will be pierced, and we will do all 30 damage right away times five so we will end up dealing it costs two action points but let's say we get, got them back from rapid clearance and we do 150 damage right right no no brainer let's use it wait a minute look at this beauty it does 140 damage right wrong with this brawler not even taking close quarters specialist 
melee attacks does 50% damage, which means this little sweet thing will do not 140 but actually 210 damage. And you see that's that's um, 60 damage more than uh, this this assault rifle will do. And that is only in the case scenario where you have piercing um, where we had armor 20. Let's increase it to 40. You see where I'm going? If enemy has 40 armor, 20 are per si uh, pierced and 20 is reduced. So basically every shot from this assault rifle will deal only 10 damage and times five. You end up with 50 damage. What is this? This is ridiculous. There's no point. Yes, of course, that the thing that is the thing. If you need the, the heavy armor, enemies are in the ass. And then again, let's take a look at this. Remember, this thing, this this uh, Warhammer does 20, 210 damage. Minus those 40 armor, you still end up with 170. 170 is quite a lot more than 50, right? Of course, you need to be me melee range, don't, don't get me wrong. But uh, you see how this brawler enables some pretty cool melee damage. And Yes, yes, you're right. If we pick up close quarter specialist, it's another 20 damage increase, and this is another 30% increase. We will end up doubling the melee damage for yes, for the heavy, heavy assault, and that leads us to kind of problematic situation. We kind of have heavy that can rage burst. Then we kind of have also melee build, which needs better positioning and a lot of running. And at the same time, we have a dash. So if we have enough willpower, we can rage burst, get some action points back with rapid clearance, then still use a dash and then use um, melee weapon killing and then get some... Yes, it, possibilities are there. You can f fully explore and see how it goes. And of course, once you have melee build, it makes sense to have Warcry. Because when you run in and, and start bashing with your uh, Warhammer, yes, Warcry might come in handy that uh, reduces enemies' action points. That's, that's quite, I'd say, over powered and we are still not picking any single um, unique ability that you can see we actually for this build need to pick all three of them uh, but before we do that let's take a look we have already only 50 um, soldier points left we can pick without any additional phoenix point only two of them so you see Whenever there's a discussion in my previous video and all the videos, everyone is all the time saying, no, no, that ability, it's good, it's good, and this is good, and this is good, and yes, and situational good. <laughs> what you need to understand is the base problem in, in whole world. Our, our demand, our wishes are unlimited, but our resources are limited. And you see, we haven't increased a speed limit, not by a single point. Remember, if we keep uh, our, our sweet, sweet, heavy gear, we have minus two, minus one, we are actually minus 13. It's it's like this guy can't move a thing. So to, to fully, uh, let's say, benefit uh, from this dash, you need, I'd say, 19, yeah, 19. We are losing three points, so it will be 16 and that comes up with four tiles i remember there's some um, movement logic behind i haven't fully tested but i read in the comment section yeah how, how they calculate so you see and we are actually only nine action nine soldier points left so now if we rewind maybe you will leave out war cry maybe you will leave out brawler because you see they combined could give me one extra strongman because we will for sure use strongman you are equipping him with, with this awesome gun so yeah this these are the two builds i will let's let's quickly move to the last part of the video which is let's 
dress them up, right? Because you see, in this scenario, let's take this guy. This guy is pretty cool because we are using Bombardier, Bombardier, yeah, nothing thief we don't need. Um, bio, biochemist, absolutely not. And we have quite a lot of points. Uh, what we also, yeah, let's, let's calculate. You still need 14, 13, 14? 14, uh, willpower, four, four dash, boom blast cost five and rapid clearance cost five. So in one turn, this is a minimum, let's say, when you can enable and fully uh, do the whole damage. Let's give him also a 19, you see it? And we have some soldier points left, but that's, that's free for you to improve either one or another, right? And that's, that's how it should be. That's the, the less you take, the more actually you can put in points in, in, in ways that actually benefit because there's a n I'd say no situation where you're this guy can spend 14 points and kill as much to get back all those 14 points this this grenade launcher it's not that heavy he absolutely will disable make bleed enemies and all that but I doubt that there must be some really lucky random positioning to for you to enable it and for for um, for dressing up the guy, it actually is also double uh, two, two things to keep in mind. When you have grenade launcher, you want those grenades to land, land in kind of good positions. I'm just showing that you are giving secondary gun just in case and you can have assault. That's your choosing either that or, or both of them. Fuck it, let's take both of them. Uh, <laughs> And um, of course, you need ammo, you see that you need strength, and uh, there's a lot of problems for this. There's a lot of problems with heavies, because yes, of course. Um, one thing that I can mention for you guys, whenever you, you see 26, I add one missile, which actually weights something. Yes, if you load things in the... Uh, weapons they don't wait more which is kind of they should but they are not and um, so you see we we need a lot of we need to reduce the uh, weight when you have grenade grenade launcher it's quite crucial for the grenade to land in precise things because you will sometimes and many times shoot through some little hole in the wall or, or through the something through obstacles and when it lands on this precise point, everyone around take, takes a damage. So it is, you need pretty precise grenade launcher. You can't shoot anywhere and expect things to go in, in your favor. So <clears throat> remember when you dress up armor for your soldiers, they are not limited by anything. So first things first, you will just, the obvious choice is they, are, they weight less. We already have 22 uh, points. Uh, secured uh, accuracy you just increase accuracy and that uh, that's again something to, to keep in mind for example I will just give you an, an, an idea you see we have weapon damage and you also lose proficiency we take one of the best um, best uh, helmets for accuracy and it gives perception but in this case scenario I would actually go extra mile and get that extra perception because you know we are losing some because of the reckless so we, we lose 10 and with this plus 14 we gain only 5 difference between perceptors head and uh, sniper right, sniper helmet is 7 perception armor you can purely ignore for this case scenario so the same accuracy, the same style, the same weight, but this head will actually be more beneficial for the guy. And to add some extra bonus, you will not mutate chest, so you can keep your sweet, sweet jet jump that's still in, on the table, possible to use. You still have mounted weapon. For this uh, guy especially, you need it. And this is where you get accuracy. Stealth, you don't care. Yes, you suffer um, our, uh, the speed. We already took that in account. 
So I would say something like this. Why I mentioned you need heavy build um, this body because this is grenade launcher. And with the grenade launcher, whenever you enable boom blast, this awesome Thor will, and you can use it once per turn without any fucking cost. It's basically free to use with boom blast. So you want it. Why, why not? Why the hell not, right? So I would dress up him something like this. And if we want to polish, I would give actually something like that. There will be a rare case where you need to pull out a second armor because it's not as efficient because you're a grenadier. And uh, Goliath, this gives you an option to re reload once per combat because you have it. I would say that's fair. That, that's enough. That is actually enough. And if you want to, if you feel insecure, you can pick one of uh, either one more. I don't think it will ever be needed. Jesus Christ, it's not a full. Yeah, full ammo capacity. Or, or take a medkit with you. Or something like that. This, this would be my suggestion for this build. Which is quite opposite with this guy. This guy, when using Rage, uh, rage Burst, you want actually... You don't want... I made this mistake by giving this guy absolutely every single um, armor piece. You can actually sacrifice that mounted gun. In this case scenario, you will have two precise guy, two precise heavy. All the rage shots will be in the exact same position, point, and what it means, you can't fully utilize your your um, rage burst to kill two, three enemies, because you know, when you can't line them directly up, or there are three guys, where one is you can connect two of them right beneath, but one is a little bit off, right? When you have absolutely precise heavy rage, um, heavy rage burst, you can shoot only two of these. The second one, you know, the third one you will never target. But you need some nice spread, that's up to you. Depends on the distance, on the positioning, a lot, from a lot, lot of factors. But from my, my personal um, takeaway, I... This is too much precision. That's the simplest way how I can put. Uh, so instead, what you can do, you see, I'm giving him some, him some speed. I'm, I'm. It's up for you to. There's no wrong, right or wrong ways to do. But my suggestion will be so, some increased accuracy. We don't take any penalty from heavy armor, and we gain some speed because you know maybe he will use that. And for Rage Burst, you absolutely need more magazine. I would say something like this. And here you actually need to choose either one or another, or just put one point in, in, in your strength. So, this is the deep dive in Heavy Soldier. Two builds. There are specifically two different builds, and as you can see, armor requirements also differ and uh, mount use differ and the last last absolute last thing i know the video is way too long that it should be but after this you don't need any other videos um i will i just enabled on the screen you can see all the unique abilities and i also went through and gave my rating when you have uh, it works both ways if you just blindly building heavy soldier that's the abilities you most likely want to look after or another way around when you have let's say sniperist strongman uh, resourceful or, or reckless or of course reckless or quarterback that is the key unique abilities that show that God, that, that 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 could be a good um, heavy heavy assault and I will quickly just run through. Uh, Bombardier, I'm not giving three. Three is the best, of course. Two is okay. And one is, uh, you don't want that ability with this build. Uh, Bombardier, of course, it is m more, more beneficial with your grenade launcher build, not with your Rage Burst build. Absolutely, you get the bonus out of it. Uh, that's why it's two, not three. Uh, close quarter, I 
simply a void, but despite the fact we have melee weapon, it would be too situational to least anything. There's a lot more better things you can do with, you can get. Sniper is, is absolutely great because for, not for Grenadier, but for, for this uh, Rage Burst build, because you can equip way more powerful uh, sniper that, that can decimate enemies uh, and basically just sw switch the gun with additional sniper uh, damage. Strongman, of course, naturally boosts the, the um, heavy, heavy weapons. For trooper, this, this is only because your secondary weapon is still there. You can use the same uh, rage burst also with um, assault rifle. That's that's an option for you to fully explore how it's useful because it uses one action power less action point. You, whenever you use rage burst, it uses as much action points as it uses uh, the, the weapon requires, and. Um, that's trooper, just optional. Self-defense, it's only because P PDW, which is kind of crazy when you uh, realize how much damage you can do with Rage Burst, because um, there's 48 ammo capacity, and it will use only one action point. You can use, you can fully unload Gorgon if you have uh, PDW weapon proficiency, and then you have three more action points left which is absolutely crazy combination, but only two points. And uh, yeah, then uh, cautious because of the uh, improved accuracy. Accuracy is needed for grenade or less situational uh, for the Rage Burst build. Quarterback, as you can see, there's plus two speed, which is beneficial for both of these builds for posi better positioning, but grenade long range is absolutely must have for this is crazy. Whenever you have it, uh, this ability you enable boom blast which basically is double the amount you can shoot where, wherever wherever you target in the combat you can shoot that far it's absolutely amazing that's why i'm giving 2.5 because with this build it is must have and um, of course biochemist is useless uh, thief you are not being stealthy in any way heavy is not stealthy and minus speed is also something you don't want uh, reckless, of course, again, damage is amazing. The point here is, I'm not giving three because if you can campaign, compensate and get accuracy where it needs to be, right? Uh, with with this guy, you need this, this sweet spot where you can target enough enemies, but you still hit them. So it's it depends. Most case scenario, I would say plus 30 damage, yes, please. You know, I'm a big fan of big numbers. Farsighted, um, only two, because the perception is definitely not not as useful for this guy. There's no return fire. There's You're just bombing from ahead. But two willpower. Uh, hey, two willpower is always great, because at one point, you see, additional willpower will cost me 15 and 16. So together, 31. If you pick this farsighted, it costs only 25. So that's that's another thing you need to be aware um, when it is more be beneficial to take speed or, or uh, um, willpower points or strength from um, unique abilities, not from putting in, in attributes. And of course resourceful, that's absolutely, as you can see, I am literally giving him them, them nothing but in, in real world you would need more in let's say also medic so strength is something they need because they have this this heavy armor this is heavy so resourceful this carry weight and additional strength that's something heavy is really like and uh, yeah the healer of course is um, why healer um, is there because again two willpower I'm, I'm covering but you know that here here yeah, sorry, two willpower is given by by healer, so that's a good thing. Yeah, now guys, you know absolutely everything about heavy assault, both builds and option to go melee if you really really need one to, and uh, how to dress, how, what to give, what's the benefit, 
Anyways, damn it, too long video. Shit, I hate. I hate. I can't pack it uh, more. But guys, this is everything you absolutely want and need to know about this build. Thanks for watching. We will meet in oh, 20 more videos because <clears throat> there are 21 builds besides unique abilities that you can do, and I tend, I want to make all of them. So yeah, guys, stay tuned and. We will meet the next videos. Cheers.